This is why you are at risk of losing your J-O-B, your job. Is the labor market what it seems to be? Despite some reports saying that the labor market remains tight, we still see some big companies out there laying off employees and hiring freeze announcements. It's not just Facebook and Twitter, but it is a lot of different companies out there. And a few of the big names also announced their intentions to freeze and take it slow when it comes to hiring this year. Meta, for example, in this instance, is said to have some plans to slow down hiring of engineers by up to 30% for the rest of the year. And on the other hand, Twitter laid off 30% of its talent acquisition team while in the middle of a hiring freeze. Amazon also decreased its workforce by almost 100,000 employees. And at the same time, Microsoft, Apple, and Google, as well as Snap, were said to have either stopped their hiring altogether or switched to slow hiring for the rest of the year. And due to the continuous increase in mortgage interest and fewer people looking for loans, JP Morgan itself also laid off hundreds of home lending employees and reassigned hundreds more, affecting a total number of 1,000 employees. Employee. So what does all of this data indicate and how will it affect you? Well, stay with me till the end of the video to find out more. Hi, I'm Munif Ali. I'm a self-made multimillionaire who started this YouTube channel to share my life experiences so that I could teach other people how to be more successful. And if you like this type of content, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. So now let's talk about why companies are laying off some workers. To know the reason behind this, let's go back a few years during that capital P word pandemic. So in April of 2020, the unemployment rate was 14.7%, the highest rate in data history since 1948. There were various reasons for this. One of the most common ones was due to limited mobility. Many businesses were forced to suspend their operations and at worst, permanently closed down. In fact, according to a survey, 18.74% or 1,584,019 establishments in the private sector alone experienced a government mandated closure of business. However, when the economy began to recover, businesses began to reopen. It was reported that there was a massive shortage of labor and the US labor market at the time had 11 million vacant positions making businesses desperate for personnel. To fill these positions, businesses starting offering, guess what? Higher pay to attract workers back. However, when things started to settle down, business owners realized that they might have hired too many people and personnel. And since the economy hasn't fully recovered yet, many businesses are still experiencing negative bottom lines. Unless they achieve record-breaking profits, there might be a need to downsize. And that's what we are experiencing right now. Massive layoffs here and there. For instance, according to Gap's interim CEO, they plan to cut 5% of their corporate workforce because they let their operating costs, which include labor costs, increase to a faster rate than even their sales. Another one from Robinhood said that between 2020 and 2021, the company hired so rapidly that they grew from 700 people to 3,800 people. However, that increase was too much and too quickly done. And Robinhood was completely compelled to reduce its workforce by 9% in April. And the company also announced that it would be cutting back 23% due to inflation and the crypto market crash. Not all of these layoffs are because the company is not doing well. For instance, Oracle downsized its workforce even after reporting a 5% increase in revenue. On the other hand, Ford hinted at cutting as much as 8,000 jobs or 4% of its global employee despite reporting 20% profit or $660 million in net income. So what's the deal? Why are all these businesses laying off employees and is there something that you should be concerned about? I think this is something that you should really be concerned about. Business owners are risk takers by nature, but the risk that they are taking is always a calculated one. They don't do any undertaking without weighing the pros and cons and calculating if it is profitable or not. Even if they take the risk, they will always strategize on how to reduce the potential for failure while maximizing their profits. That's how successful businesses are run. And that's how most entrepreneurs think. And with the threat of a recession looming, everyone is prepared to combat whatever the economy throws their way. They will make sure that they have more than enough cash to operate efficiently and effectively even in case of recession or maybe to have enough liquidity to put them in a better position than their competitors and they are always ready to take on any opportunity that might come in during the tough time during uncertain times many business owners will incorporate a wait and see attitude one of the results of this attitude is hiring freezes and for them to sustain their business during these times they will try to cut back as much as they can in their operating costs including labor costs resulting in massive layoffs that we're now seeing in fact just this year alone 
there are already 65,000 workers that have been laid off. And for stakeholders, this is very favorable as they will see less cost and more profit. However, for the employee, this will be very devastating news. It will now come down to the survival of the fittest where only the A players get to stay. Now I can only tell you to prepare for the worst and make yourself as indispensable as you possibly can be. This is not the time to relax at your desk and sneak a peek at YouTube videos while you're watching Gary V. Look for ways that you can prove your value to your company. Make yourself visible without being a show off. While the current labor market is still strong, there is always no guarantee that it will continue to be in the future. So there is no harm in preparing for the worst and it is always better to have a plan B. Thank you for watching this particular video and I hope you guys find today's topic valuable. If you do, go ahead and smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And if you're still hungry for more, you can check out this video, How to Calm Financial Panic During Inflation Surges, next.